Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studios. And joining me today in the kitchen is chef and nutrition coach, Valerie Cogswell. Hi. Welcome. It's such a pleasure to have you today. Awesome to be here. Yeah. What are we making? We are going to make a maple carrot bisque, mm -hmm. seared scallops, and spiced pecans, candied bacon, and topped with a little bit of microgreens. Sounds amazing. So it's why don't really we get started? good. Yay. And I'm putting you to work today. I hope that's good. okay. Good. I like to work. Awesome. All right. Let's get you started over here in a pot. Perfect. Yep, so we have a you know, medium-sized pot going, mm -hmm. butter heating up. We're gonna add carrots. All those carrots? Yeah, wow. we're gonna do. We're it is a carrot a big, bisque. We're making a big batch of carrots. Excellent. Big batch of soup, rather. All right, carrots and some onion to get started. Beautiful. And I'm gonna have you season that up with some sea salt and white pepper whenever you feel like you know, it needs Great. it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be adding some fresh herbs to this as well. I've got some fresh sage. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna do about 10 leaves. All right, beautiful fresh sage you have. Yeah, absolutely. And you just wanna get this nicely sweated out, no color on it? Exactly. Perfect. Get it as soft as you can, pretty much as quick as you can. All right, let me crank this heat up then. Perfect, perfect. All right. So you're just gonna mince that up? Yeah, I'm gonna chiffonade actually. So basically I stacked the sage leaves, mm -hmm. rolling them up, and then I'm giving them a quick chop. Great. You right. have very nice knife skills. Gracias. <laughs> Donata. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So right in the Coming pot. Coming in right in the pot, exactly. Awesome. So the other herb we're gonna use is fresh thyme, which mm. is actually my favorite. Is it really? It is, because it's like lemony, it's herby, yeah. you can use it with anything. Very versatile. Totally versatile, and it keeps forever in the fridge, too. Yeah. We're just gonna grab a small handful of this. We don't want too much. Basically, all I'm gonna do is hold them to the top, and I'm going to pull the leaves off like Very that. Nice. Yes, super easy. Okay. Now you're a chef and a nutrition coach. I am, yes. Tell me a little bit about that. All right, so basically, I loved to cook growing up. Mm -hmm. I was always cooking and always, you know, making my family food, that kind of thing. So I went to culinary school. Awesome. And while I was in culinary school, I realized that I was really into like the human body and how to increase performance and mm -hmm. get in shape through food though. So now I specialize in making restaurant style food that actually gets you in shape. Love it. Yes, that being said, this recipe is gonna be a little bit more decadent than I usually go. <laughs> a little bit more bacon, a little bit more butter. Yeah, we've got bacon, we've got cream, we've got butter. I mean, we're going all out. We still have to live our lives, you know? Right, right. <laughs> this is an indulgence, but everything's all natural at least, you know? Perfect, well, I love that. Chef's kitchen, we gotta go all out, right? I love it. Okay. All right, so we've got our fresh thyme leaves. And we're just gonna give those a rough chop. So these are pretty simple flavors, pretty seasonal for the fall that's coming up. What yes. inspired this dish? It's all of my favorite things on one plate. Oh, I gotta love that. Yeah, like seared scallops are my favorite. Mm -hmm. And then any type of creamy like bisque soup. I'll eat soup, I don't care how hot it is. <laughs> it can be 90 and I want a bowl of soup. I don't know why. <laughs> See, we're different that way. If it's a gazpacho or a chilled soup. You'll do it. In. Otherwise. Well, you have to promise to try this though. Oh, I'll still try it. All right, very good. Sure. I like that. All right. Try anything you make, girl. <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> I'll have to cook for you next Yes, time. I would love that. Okay, so I'm gonna get another pan going because we're gonna render down some bacon Ooh. and then we're actually gonna candy it awesome. and then we're gonna reserve the bacon fat to cook our scallops. Love it. Yes. Okay, let me just get this up a little higher. We wanna get our pan nice and hot. And then the type of bacon I'm gonna use is a all natural, uncured, thick cut mm. applewood smoked bacon. This is gorgeous. I was eyeing this up earlier. Yeah. This is some really nice, thick cut, beautiful bacon. And I got bacon. it at the market. Did you? You can get it anywhere. Yeah. yeah. And I like uncured because it's a little bit healthier. Mm -hmm. for you. It doesn't have the nitrates in exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, really simple. We're just going to cut this into manageable sized pieces, give it a chop. Now it's starting to um, cool, I mean, get warm, so it's a little bit harder to chop. Yeah, bacon is always easier to chop, really any kind When it's of really meat. cold. Yeah. Yep. If you want, we can throw it in our Electrolux blast chiller. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we got some already chopped too, so it's actually gonna oh, work out fairly better. well. Yeah. We wanna get, you know, the meat of the bacon super crispy mm -hmm. and get the fat nice and melted. And Perfect. then we'll go ahead and um, candy it. Some pure maple syrup. Oh, nice. Yes. 
Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. Nordon, it's fantastic. There's a lot of space, high-tech equipment. The ovens are phenomenal. I can't wait to own one. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we want to get a nice and Yeah. We'll get our bacon going. Oh, love that bacon. Sizzle. And I like to add a few sprigs of fresh thyme mm -hmm. right in with the bacon as well. So no need to even chop those up. Just I'm going to take it out at the end. All right. They'll get, the leaves will get nice and crispy. It just imparts a little bit more flavor. Excellent. And this needs to get turned down a touch so it doesn't... Now, we just gotta make sure it doesn't burn us. <laughs> Popping up a little bit. All right, there we go. Perfect. Oh, you can already smell that bacon. I know, right? It smells like breakfast. <laughs> it does. And bacon and scallops are the perfect combination, so, so yeah. Okay. All right, how is that coming along? I think it looks really good. You are they starting to soften? Yeah, so nice perfect. and small. So. Okay, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So what I wanna do now is add garlic. We got oh, about great. three cloves of minced garlic, almost mm -hmm. minced into a paste. Yeah, really finely chopped. I love that. So we're gonna go ahead and add this right now. Great. Ooh, yeah. I can smell that garlic. Ooh, beautiful. All right. Okay, so I think we are ready to add our stock. What kind of stock do you have? Actually, this is a broth. You can use a mm -hmm. chicken broth or chicken stock. Mm -hmm. But we want to make sure we go, I like using a, like, a high quality, all natural, no MSG. Mm -hmm. And then I like low sodium, this way we can kind of, you yeah, know. Yeah, you can control how much salt's going in. Exactly. And you know what else I've noticed? I'm gonna do a, that's about three cups right there. I'm gonna mm -hmm. do about four cups. The one thing I've noticed too, every stock tastes different. It's true. Or every broth tastes different mm -hmm. at the grocery store. So you gotta kind of like find one you like. It's true. And then stick with that brand. Yeah, do you like to make your own? I don't do it often because mm -hmm. of time. Yeah. I haven't done it since college. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had much time like since yesterday. college, so. <laughs> no, geez, I wish. All right, so we need to get this to a simmer. We'll put a lid on it then. Yeah. And what, you know, that's a good temperature. Okay. And this is totally starting to render down a little mm. bit more. I love getting when crispy. Bacon, yeah, fat kind of gets crisped up. Perfect. Okay, I want to show you another ingredient that I already made that I'm going to add as a garnish to this soup. Great. These are spice pecans. Yes, I, I was going to ask you, I was going to say try one and tell me mm. what you think. Good? Mmm. I know this is going on you know, with bacon and scallops, but I want them on top of my ice cream. Oh <laughs> my God, delicious. totally, yeah. So all I did was take a pan mm -hmm. and toast them a little bit, toss them with a little bit of butter, salt, nutmeg, and paprika. That's it. That's it. So simple. Oh, and then a touch of pure maple syrup again. Of course. <laughs> of course. At the very, very end, not so much to get them sweet, but mm -hmm. sort of to coat them and get them nice and hard and crispy. Mm. Oh, they're... Amazing. Yeah. All right. And then <laughs> that I think pop that, of salt too is yes, really what sets Yes. Yeah. Off. And I think it's gonna pair beautifully with the maple bisque and the scallops Definitely. and everything else. So, yeah. So we'll add these at the very end. And so as soon as this renders down a little bit more, because you can see this is still a little bit soft, mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do is remove the bacon with a slotted spoon. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna reserve some of the bacon fat because again we're gonna cook our scallops yeah. in that bacon fat. And then um, I'm going to candy the bacon. Excellent. I bet you can guess what ingredient I'm going to use to candy the bacon. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's getting there. Mm -hmm. So as a health coach, you work with different clients on a regular basis just to go over their eating habits. Yeah. And do you go into fitness at all, too? I do. Or? Awesome. Yeah, basically, I get people in shape for a living. That's great. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. And they, you do it in a really healthy, fun, I delicious do it way. based on food. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, there's so many people that are trying to eat healthy, and they're resorting to diet food. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that way. Right. You know? Right. They're drinking shakes. Exactly. They're doing all of these things. Right. That are, and it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. They're probably not even losing weight. Right. And they're miserable. Yeah, they're very cranky, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, I try to keep my clients happy, so they're very easy to work with. But you teach them how to make great food. Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. This is my first time at Nordon and it's been an absolutely incredible experience. The equipment is top notch from the induction burners to this, I mean the stove gave up off incredible heat but wasn't hot to me. This deck oven is beautiful, I mean a plancha. The variety of, of products that they have is incredible. All right, this is finally starting to get exactly where we want it. So all I'm going to do 
is remove some of the bacon with slotted spoon. Oopsie, lost a piece. Oops. Get in there, buddy. Are you done with the bacon? I am, thank you. Sure. Oh, this is actually going to be perfect. Oh, it is perfect. It's yeah, nice it's very, it's right on the money. All right. Pour our bacon fat. Very nice. Wow, that really rendered off a lot of fat, too. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. All right, now's the fun part. Now we get to candy the bacon. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to put the bacon back into the pan. I'm move this big one since it keeps getting in my way. <laughs> and we get to candy the bacon. We're going to add a little bit of that pure maple syrup. So not much at all, like a tablespoon maybe. Yeah, maybe a touch maybe more. more. Yep. And nice. now it's getting that like gorgeous mm. sizzle. Mm. Okay, and check the heat. So we just need to kind of let this go for a minute or two. So it doesn't take long. Mm -mm. I mean, it's so small, it's kind of going to absorb everything quick. And then all we do is stick it in our bowl and let it, you know, harden. Wow. Yeah. All right. Love it. Evan DeLuti, who's one of our Chef's Kitchen regulars, has a restaurant in Boston. He's a Boston oh. guy. Stella, have you ever been? I've heard. I have not yet been, you have but to I've go heard check it great out. things. Tell him you were here with us. I It'll definitely you really will. Well. All right. Evan loves a beautiful woman, so <laughs> you'll definitely be taken oh, care of. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get back to our soup. Great. Here, let me grab this. So it's simmering. Oh, that's super hot. I got Yikes. you, girl. All right. <laughs> so this is now ready to blend. We're going to put this in a blender, get it as smooth and creamy mm. and velvety as we possibly can. Give that a touch more salt. All right. All right. right. I'm going to pour this very gently. You don't want too much in there. Yeah, we want to do about <laughs> half. And do you want to go ahead and heat up the new pan for the scallop? Sure. Maybe on like medium, medium high. Let's see where we're at. Okay. All right, we'll get that nice and hot. Awesome. All right. So. We need to get this as smooth and creamy and velvety as we possibly All can. All right, well, we have a nice high-tech blender here, so we should that be able works. to do that. What do we do here? All right. Maybe we'll throw that on yeah, top. Yeah, just, just in safe. case, because it's so hot. Put that up on high and let it go. Yep. Great. And we'll also have a super hot back. Okay. All right, you can see it's getting nice and blended. Super velvety. Yeah. Mm. It smells so good. Thank you. There we go. Oh, that's a good texture right there. That's actually what good we want. Good texture, but I'm in love with this color. I know. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. And I'm going to get the pan going for our scallops. That's already getting there. I like it. So we'll empty this right into our pot. Oh, it's so perfect. Mm. Love it. Yum. Yep. Okay, so next step, we need to temper the soup with a little bit of cream. If we add a cold cream to a hot soup, it's likely going to break and curdle. Oh, uh, yes. So we want to temper it a little bit first. Great. So actually, I need that bowl if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then we need our ladle. Okay. And we have our cup of cream. So I'm going to add the cup of cream right to our bowl. Mm -hmm. And this is just heavy cream? Yeah, or this one's half and half, but heavy cream, half and half, either one works, right? right? And the goal is to take a ladle full of soup at a time mm -hmm. and temper it with the cream mm. so that the cream gets to a more appropriate temperature. It kind of gets to like a higher temperature to match the soup. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. Cooking in Nordon is one of the, my most favorite things that I get to do when I get invited to the show just because the equipment is so fantastic and they pretty much have everything you could possibly dream of as a chef. Pan is almost hot. There's a couple of tricks with the scallops, so let me grab. We like here. tricks here. Yes. Everyone always asks, how do you perfectly sear a scallop? Mm -hmm. 
there's a couple tricks. First, you need to get your pan really hot, right? Yeah. And then you want to get the fat hot, and we're using our bacon fat. So excited. I know, me too. Okay, so we just need a couple tablespoons, not too much. Pan hot, then fat hot, mm -hmm. right? And then you want to make sure you're using a really nice dry sea scallop. Yes, always, always, always a dry sea dry scallop. Dry and fresh, um, never frozen first, always fresh. Yes. Pat them dry with a paper towel mm -hmm. and get them to room temperature. Because again, we don't ah. want to stick a cold scallop into a hot pan. Right. We won't get that beautiful sear that we want. Definitely. So we have these gorgeous sea scallops here and they've already been patted dry, they're room temperature. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give them a quick season. And I noticed you'd remove that little muscle off of the side too. Yes, exactly. All right. Beautiful sea scallops. Are these from Massachusetts? Um, no, these are from Philly actually. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I didn't Even travel better. with scallops on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Probably smart. All right, so we're gonna add these scallops one at a time to our pan. Because we want to get a really nice hard sear yeah, on them. Yeah, we want that sizzle. Yeah. And here's the other thing with scallops. When you're cooking them, don't mess with them. Yeah. It's so important not to keep flipping them and mm -hmm. messing with them. Just kind of let them do their thing. Yeah. All right. We want them to develop all of those sugars and caramelize. Exactly. We have a lot of richness going mm -hmm. on. It's nice to get a little bit of now. acid going. And then I bet you can guess what we're gonna add next. <laughs> Is it maple syrup? <laughs> yes. Just a little bit. Awesome. All right, let's stir that in. And is it okay mm. if we try it real quick? Of course. All right. And you'll, we should be able to taste a difference between, you know, how it was before we added the lemon and the maple mm. syrup. Spot on, right? That is awesome. Thank you. So good. <laughs> That's a good one. Beautiful that. brown on the outside. Yeah, Very see, nice. perfect. So easy, mm -hmm. right? Okay, to plate. Hold the bowl over here. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. We don't need a lot of soup because we don't want it sort of like to capsize yeah. the scallops, you know? It's almost like a sauce. More exactly. Than a soup. And you want a shallow bowl. Man, that color from that carrot soup up against the stark white bowl is just stunning. Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And again, this is that dish you make for your significant other <laughs> to impress your guests. Let me turn this down a little bit. Oops, got one that's sticking on me. And do you like your scallops to cook all the way through? Or do I you do. Keep them a little rare in the middle. Okay. I like mine to cook all the way through mm -hmm. personally. Oops, these are getting a little dark. I got one that doesn't want to flip. Here we <laughs> go. Goes. Okay, all right. So, Very nice. first thing we're gonna add is our candied bacon. Oh my gosh. I know. Can I taste some of this? Yeah. Oh yes, like please, I forgot. Time. It's so good. Mm. Yep. The more the better in my eyes. I'm with you right there. <laughs> now we're gonna add our scallops. Now these are a little small, so mm -hmm. we can probably do Hmm. One for good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do the pretty one on top. I'm trying to, maybe I'll do one more under there. Might as well. Now we have those um, spice pecans. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add some of those, oops, directly to the bowl. I know, aren't those good? Mm-hmm. So good. Yep. Okay, last but not least, the final plating for this is our microgreens. We'll just put final on top. Amazing. Yeah, there what we go. What a Ooh. pretty dish, and I bet it tastes just as good as it let's looks. Let's hope, right? Yeah, let's bring this over. Okay. This looks so good. Thank you. And today we have something new with the Chef's Kitchen. We have Matthew Sellerier. He's here with Unistar Importing to tell us about this amazing wine he's paired. Thank you, Nico. Of Thank course. you, Valerie, for having me here. So today, in order to to uh, enhance the dish. We choose uh, white wine from Bordeaux region. Actually, the vintner would be very jealous of me because first <laughs> of all, he would be happy to be in such a delightful uh, company, but I won't talk too much about that because my wife is not too far. <laughs> Love you, darling. And the other aspect, uh, why he would be very interested about would be to try the pairing with the dish and this wine. Thank you. Because Thank every you. time I meet him, 
is a big food is a big food addict. Every time we ah. end up in a restaurant, and he wanted a wine that is easier to pair with different type of food because mm. usually in Bordeaux, mm. the white wine are really oyster friendly. Here you have something with a lot of color, a lot of flavor, yeah. a bigger spectrum, very creative. So in order to achieve a wine that is creative too, he waited a month to have a almost late harvest Sauvignon Blanc. So you will see the impact is different. It's not on par with the impact of a New Zealand wine, but as for Bordeaux, it's very unique. So I hope it will match the unicity of your dish. Excellent. You will let me know. Cheers. 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 Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Let's try it with these scallops. So yes. These are both for you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies first. And oh no. No. It's it's all equal here on the chef's kitchen. So my wife is not too far. She wants me to behave. <laughs> mm. After you. I've had Please. it a million times. No, in there. <laughs> my wife is going to be not happy. Well, I... Try to get a little bit of the scallop mm -hmm. and the scallops and, and the bacon. Yeah, and the bacon. The bacon. Yeah. Amazing. Just want to dive in. It looks so delicious. Mm -hmm. There you go. Bacon, bacon. Everything. Now a little more wine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So luxurious mm -hmm. and creamy. Mm -hmm. That wine cuts through it perfectly. Matthew, thank you so much for coming and bringing this amazing wine. Valerie, thank you so much for coming all the way from Boston. Food is incredible. Thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers. Cheers.